The wheel that I have here is one from an engine which I'm working on. I have not really decided what I'm going to do in painting it yet, but I've painted just a part of this wheel so that I can demonstrate to you the way I put straight uh, radial spokes, uh, right, straight radial lines on the spokes of this wheel. And I'm also going to show you how I adjust and use the trammel. Uh, I begin with, the, with my standard ruling pen and I have made up a test patch that I'm going to work on and I'm going to work along a straight edge and I will place the straight edge which is this small triangle in here so this will give me the guidance when I draw the straight lines across. Now I'm going to ink up my pen and get it all adjusted the same as I've done for each of the other cases. And then I'll make a test line on the red. Oh, that's set just right already. Now I place my straight edge in position and I hold it very securely. My eye, I center it because I would like the stripe to come as near the center of the spoke as possible. I've drawn one. I go on to the next spoke. I position everything as closely as I can get them to being on center. And there you can see those are nice radial lines. If I wish to do something with connecting them by curves, lines or something, then I will get on with using my trammel and that's what I'm going to do now. I'll show you how I set the trammel up and use it. I've already told you about the buttons. and I have the button made to go in the center here. And when I want to use the trammel, its center will rest in here and the pen will come to the outside. Now there are two adjustments that I have to make. The first is to the length of this center point. I push it through so that when I put this in the center, the pen comes in a nice straight position. And then I tighten up this set screw and it's all set. You see, when I put this in, you notice that the pen is vertical to the surface and you notice that the beam is exactly horizontal to the surface. So when I trace around, it will make a, a nice curve with a, with a uniform ink flow all the way around. Uh, it happens that this one is in exactly the right position with the right radius, but if, I, if it were not, I would adjust the radius by, by moving it out where I want it. When I get it in position, I would tighten the screw and the trammel is ready to be used. I ink the trammel in exactly the same way that I've been doing and I test it on the, uh, the red test patch. And it's flowing very nicely already. So all I have to do is put my trammel in position And as you can see, I've drawn an exactly concentric curve, which I could easily have run all the way around. I could have that white stripe go all the way around the rim of the wheel. If I wish to double stripe it, I could put a thin, narrow stripe inside, or I could put a, one on the outside or whatever I want to have. But these are the very simple techniques that I use when I'm striping and decorating an engine. I'm very careful that the surfaces that I'm working on are clean and I normally clean them with soap and water. 
I use acrylic paints because they have a flat surface and they're easy to clean up. I use drafting inks. I believe that the uh, inks that are used for the uh, uh, calligraphy would be usable, but I have not tried them. And in the course of this video, I've tried to suggest to you several panel patterns that you may use. And I've attempted to suggest to you several wheel patterns that you may use. And as you can see, any of them are a combination of simple circular sections or straight lines or perhaps irregular curves that you may make with a French curve or something of the sort. But if you use it sparingly and choose colors that contrast with one another, your engines will be very classy with the striping that you can put on them.